Hi everyone, this is Lala with TheRainQueen.com. Today's video is a bit of orchid maintenance on two of my orchids that need a little bit of a change of scenery and a change of pace because they are no longer in full bloom. This is a Phalaenopsis on the left hand side. Um, you may have seen it from one of my other videos about um, the orchids in Easter. It has one open bloom at the top, a faded one, and all the way in the middle there are two branches that still have some buds that are going to open. And on the right hand side we have a cymbidium. This cymbidium was in my office. It flowered so beautifully, it had like six flowers on it, but now they are both faded. to take off these flower spikes and on the phalaenopsis I think I'm just going to trim this one on the left so that the two um, branches lower down have an opportunity to bloom further if they're able to. Okay so this point here is where I'm going to snip. I'm just going to loosen the ties here at the higher parts of the flower spike and I'm actually going to take out the stake. Okay, um, I'm going to cut halfway here. I hope you can see. Snip. That's gone. So there we have a phalaenopsis with two spikes left or two branches on the same spike and I'm applying some cinnamon. Okay. Here's a little bit of cinnamon, which is recommended when you have um, any wounds on a phalaenopsis. So just a small amount where the phalaenopsis has been snipped. And this is going to just dry out that tissue and stop it from rotting and maybe infecting the rest of the healthy plant. Great, so we have cut the phalaenopsis spike and we've got this big bud left and a small flower bud forming here and another one here and as I said there are additional nodes on these branches so they may still branch out more. Even Moving on to the cymbidium we've got this really gorgeous plant it was blooming in my office as I said and it had beautiful bright yellow flowers but now only two left and both of them aren't looking that good anymore so I'm going to cut it. done cutting this it's going to go outside because cymbidiums are great in my climate and they prefer the outside conditions it's winter now it likes to be out in the cold so that's where it's going to go all right I've got my shears here and I'm going to cut it very close to the base smooth motion okay so there we have the cut Cymbidium and this one if I can turn it around it's still a baby it had um, two big growths and two previous um, back bulbs I had just put these white stones here for a decorative effect but um, I'm just going to remove the stones and put it outside with the rest of the cymbidiums that are not in flower
that is it. That is how I take care of the flowers that are out of spike or that need a little bit of a trim. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember your cinnamon when you cut your phalaenopsis and enjoy your orchids. Until next time, please remember to like, comment and subscribe.